My name is Mark McCormick, and I was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis in uh, January of 2012. The doctor that diagnosed me immediately said, I would like to uh, sign you up for a couple of medical trials. He was just instrumental in letting me know that this isn't just a diagnosis where they send you home and tell you there's nothing we can do. Just take some oxygen and live your best life. He immediately let me know we are constantly working on this thing. We have trials underway. We have more in the pipeline. I tell everybody I know about the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation and the wealth of information they've got there. I would encourage anybody that has this disease to find out as much as they can about clinical trials, to get involved in as many as they can. The purpose of a clinical trial is to study the effectiveness of an intervention, whether it's a medication or a device on outcomes in patients with a disease. There are four uh, phases to clinical trials. The first phase is essentially a safety trial. Phase two trials uh, really look at the effect of the intervention in the patient population. A phase three clinical trial is a much larger clinical trial that looks at both safety and effectiveness of an intervention. And depending on the results of the phase three clinical trial, the company who manufactures the intervention or the drug can go to the Food and Drug Administration or the FDA to seek approval for use in the United States. And then finally, a phase four clinical trial is done after FDA approval in which they continue to monitor the safety of the intervention in patients. I think there are quite a few fears that patients think about when considering participation in a clinical trial. In terms of the fear of potentially being a guinea pig in a clinical trial, I think that for clinical trials that they actually have to go through rigorous preclinical testing in the laboratory to make sure things are safe. Clinical trials are built with a lot of safety mechanisms in place, and so part of the clinical trials involves frequent study visits at the site that you're participating in. So instead of the typical standard of care where you may see your physician every three to four months, depending on the scenario, most clinical trial visits are more frequent than that, and so you get to see and talk to your doctor far more frequently than you would in standard of care. You have to have a placebo group to go with the other group. There's got to be a group A and a group B because you got nothing to compare it to if you don't. And so I encourage everybody, you know, don't worry if you're on a placebo or not. Just join a trial. You're doing something positive. I've been involved with several trials and I've never worried if I was on a placebo or not. If you go to the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation website, you're going to find a wealth of information. There's a clinical trial finder tool that you can go to. You can read up about the clinical trials that are available, and if you are a candidate, I certainly would encourage you to get involved in it. You're taking a positive step in uh, addressing your disease, and sitting in the background just worrying about it isn't doing any good, so you might as well get out front and see if you can't help. For patients who don't have access to clinical trials at their physician's office, there are other ways to find clinical trials. One of those resources is the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation Clinical Trial Finder. On that website, you can find all the trials that are being performed with your disease and centers that are participating. So while we've learned a tremendous amount about pulmonary fibrosis in the last several decades, we actually need to do more. We don't have curative therapies for this disease, and in order to do that, we need patients to participate in promising clinical trials to change the landscape of treatment of pulmonary fibrosis in the future. Pulmonary fibrosis is just a terrible disease, and when I was first diagnosed, there was not a lot of hope associated with it. You were told that there's a three to five year prognosis. Since that time, we've got two drug therapies that absolutely have been proven to slow the progression of pulmonary fibrosis. We have many more research projects in a pipeline. The promise of those research projects to go even further than these two bodes well for everybody. So we have a lot of hope right now that pulmonary fibrosis is going to be managed and we're going to be able to beat this thing. We're going to be able to live longer and in time probably find a cure for pulmonary fibrosis. Mm -hmm.